welcome to day four of our English unit. Okay, so today we're going to be having a look at characteristics of a feature article. Our learning intention today, we are learning to identify the characteristics of the feature article and our success criteria, we, know, we will know we are successful when we can identify the different parts of a feature article. Okay, so you are going to need your feature article so if you can open that up now even if you have to um, pause the video to go and do that that's fine go ahead and do that and then come back and continue on with the lesson okay so once you've opened up your feature article what i want you to do now is just scan your eyes over that article and what did you notice first about it okay was it the images that caught your attention or was it something else Okay, and what else caught your attention in the article? Okay, was it maybe the headline that caught your attention? Maybe it was the map over the side that caught your attention. There's no right or wrong answer here. It's just what caught your attention. So what I want you to do is pause the video, go to your worksheet and answer questions one and two on your worksheet. Once you've done that, come back and continue on with the lesson. Okay, so there's many parts to a feature article that are designed to catch your attention. Okay, I'm going to read some of them out. I want you to see if you can identify them on your own copy of the feature article. Some of them you will know, others you will be like, I've got no idea what you're talking about. That's perfectly fine. We're going to be learning about these as we go along. Okay, so... Can you see the headline? How about the byline? Images? What about the map? Can you see some statistics? Can you see the dot points? What about the information about where, um, so the information about the article and where it has been published? And can you see any captions? Okay, so try and identify as many of those as you can. Okay, so having a look here, we can see the title, which is our headline, Ruthless March of the Toxic Invader. Underneath our headline is the byline. Okay, we're going to be learning about the byline in some future, in a future lesson. So don't worry too much if you're not sure what that means. We have images, and we've also got information about the article and the magazine. Um, there's maps and statistics, there's the dot points and facts, and there's our captions. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is to make a prediction. And I want you to make a prediction about the author's purpose. And you can use the pie chart, which is persuade, inform, or entertain. So, do you think the author is trying to persuade us? inform us or entertain us why do you think that and what evidence can you find in the text to support your prediction once again pause the video go and answer question three on your task sheet come back and continue on with the lesson okay so the last thing i want to talk to you about today is the audience so the audience for this feature article who do you think it is like we're an audience we're reading it so we'd be we're readers of it but was this article written for us okay who do you think the intended audience might be okay and who would be most interested in reading this article thinking about what you've written in your previous answers as well that will give you some information about it um, so, yep, who do you think the intended audience is and why do you think that, okay? I also want you to think about where, we'll, where we will find an article like this. Will we find it on the internet, in a book, a newspaper, a magazine, a pamphlet? Will we find it on the side of a bus? Who knows? Where do you think we're going to find this sort of article? Once again, examine that text because the text that feature article on the feature article is going to give you clues about where we're going to find 
this feature article. Okay, now remember, these are just predictions. Okay, and we're going to see whether we're correct um, when we um, examine the text further. Okay, but for now, I want you to answer question four and five on your worksheet. Once you've done that, check all your answers, check your spellings, check your punctuation, and that is our lesson for today. Um, tune in tomorrow where we will have our last English lesson for the week.